بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس پرو یوزرز ٹیٹوریل ٹو ورک ویڈ ایکسل این ایکسٹرنل ڈکشنری دس اس دا سیکنڈ ٹیٹوریل این ای سیریز اف ٹیٹوریلز ٹو مانسٹریٹنگ ہاو ٹو کریئٹ لاغ ان اپلیکیشن این سی ایس پرو این دس ٹیٹوریل وی ویل کریئٹ ایکسل فائل این ایکسٹرنل ڈکشنری ٹو یوز اتھنٹیکیشن فور لاغ ان این سی ایس پرو اپلیکیشن فرسٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کریئٹ ایکسل فائل To save time, I have already created the Excel file with the following column name. We will use some of them in our external dictionary to authentication. Now we will have a deeper look to develop better understanding. We will use this ID for login. Password and ID can be same or you can set password different. In our case, ID and password is same. You can replace supervisor and numerator information with your field team's name in the name column. In this column, we have two codes only, one and two. One is for supervisor and two is for enumerator. These codes will be useful when we will create many application in the future. In this example, the team composition is one supervisor with nine enumerators. Supervisor ID set for the each team. For instance, 1511 to 1519 are belongs to supervisor ID 1510 and so on. In general column, we have two codes, one and two. One for male and two for female. It will be useful when we will create many application in the future tutorial. Device ID is very important to log in on the tab. If login ID and device ID will match, then you can enter password to run the application. To get the device ID information, you need to install device application from the Play Store in your tab. Why we should use device ID? It is important to understand that if we use only ID and password for login, then any ID can be entered on any tablet. That is why we are bonding device ID with login ID. For instance, this device ID is bounded with 1510. and so on tab id district the seal and comments just for keeping tracking of login ids now save your file in 104 underscore excel folder now your excel work has been done close your excel file and start work in cs pro to create external dictionary to open cs pro click on the cs pro icon on the desktop select Create a new application and press OK. Select Data Dictionary option under Other tab and then click OK. We will save this file in our external dictionary folder 102 underscore ext underscore dic. Give your dictionary name and click on Save button. Our dictionary name is Username Password. You can give any name. External dictionary has been created successfully. In our external dictionary. We only have one record type. We don't need a record type indicator. So we will change the length of record type to zero. Zero means that we do do not need a record type indicator. The length will be four of ID item and pressing enter to continue. Zero fill will be yes. Now we are going to add password, name, role, supervisor ID, gender, and device ID in our Username password underscore rec records to add item. Click on username password underscore rec and then right click on the blank space and select add item. The item label is user password. The item name will be user underscore password in capital letter. Length will be four and select yes in zero fill. At the end, you will find the external dictionary in this format. Required items has been created successfully. Now save your work and close the application. Excel to CS Pro. Excel to CS Pro is a CS Pro tool that allows you to convert data from Excel spreadsheet to CS Pro data file. Over here, we will run how we can convert data from Excel to CS Pro. Select Tools. Excel to CS Pro from the main menu and then select Excel file from 104 underscore Excel folder 
select your external dictionary which is save 102 underscore ext underscore dic folder now save your output data file in 103 underscore ext underscore data folder select sheet 1 from your excel file before going on assign default mapping review the starting row parameter by default this is 2 which assume that excel file has first row for items name if it does not change it to 1 or to the appropriate value now click on assign default mappings assign default mappings which will automatically map each item to its corresponding column after mapping a worksheet to a record you will see a list of the records item and items level drop down list that shows the columns in the worksheet map to the items parent record when you have specified all the mappings click on the create cs pro data file to convert the excel worksheet to a file that can be opened using your cs pro external dictionary after successfully completion you will get message that number of cases were completed over here press ok to continue if you want to save a specification file then click on file from main menu and then click on save specification create your new folder 105 underscore excel to cs pro and save your file in this folder the extension will be excel to cs in this tutorial we have learned how to create an external dictionary and an excel file following this we have also learned how to convert the excel file into cs pro and save the specification file in our third and last tutorial we will work on multi languages and write code to connect our external dictionary with the text file to verify the login information keep on learning and goodbye